Hi, my name is Ryan Steinoff, and today I'm going to show you how to very quickly create a Twitter background. It's real easy. I'm going to use two tools. Number one, I'm going to use a, um, a tool called Jing, and I'm going to use another tool that, um, well, just a really simple tool. I'm going to use uh, Keynote, or you can use PowerPoint if you have a if you don't have a Mac. So, and and what I <clears throat> what I do, Keynote has a bunch of themes that you can use in order to make your background a little bit more interesting. Um, the thing that we've got to keep in mind throughout this whole process <clears throat> is that the Twitter background cannot be any more than um, seven hundred. 700 kilobytes in size, and it can either be a JPEG, a, a GIF, or a, a PNG file. So that is what we're going to try to stay within. We're going to keep it that. We're going to stay within those parameters. So here's, you know, we've got a bunch of different themes, and, and the thing I, I like to do is um, I'm just going to make a plain white one. But here I'm going to expand it out. As big as I can make it. And make it slide only. And um, I'm going to stretch it all the way to the edge. And then what I do is I input um, pictures. I take. Uh, go to the media file and then I import let's say a picture of myself well wow, it's really big um, if you want to customize it you know a little bit then you can put a picture of yourself there now keep in mind that really the only section <clears throat> of your Twitter background that you can see is this is this edge right over here so <clears throat> What I do is I just put in, you can type in your, um, uh, here, and by the way, you can de increase and decrease the size of words on a Mac by using the uh, that Mac button. I don't know if you, it's the one, it's a, I just found out about that the other day, how to do that, and I love it. Um, let me resize this. Okay, so you get the, I mean, I think you can kind of get the point here. Basically what we're doing is, is we're putting everything along the side here where it's going to be, so it's going to be viewable on, um, during when your Twitter background is, is showing, uh, or when you're, um, when you'll see what I'm saying. <laughs> it's, you want to make sure that all this stuff is able to be seen and so I can put anything on here that I want. This is what's great about being able to, to customize these these on the fly really quickly. And you can, I mean, you can put any picture here that you want. I mean, you can, you know, you know, if you want to change it, you know, you don't have to go and wait for somebody, you know, to design it for you from over in India or the Philippines or whatever. You can do this on your own. It's really easy, and you can make them pretty customized. I mean. The nice thing is, is you can change them on the fly. And what I like to do is I'll put like my my blog website address here. I'll put Facebook. You know, I'll put you know maybe some more pictures. You know, maybe something. You know, a picture of my wife and I. And you know, I mean, there's just all you can do whatever you want. But the bottom line is, is that it's easy to do, and you can change it really quickly. I mean, in a matter of five minutes. So here's what I do is I just use this tool called Jing. And I basically highlight the entire. You can see here that it tells me um, how how large the uh, the picture is that I'm going to capture here. 
it says one one thousand seventy um, one thousand one hundred seventy seven by six hundred and thirty eight um, pixels high. I want to go all the way to the edge, and then this this is the tool that I was telling you about. It's called Jing. It allows you to actually record your screen, and uh, so I just go to capture image, and uh, if you want it, if you want this tool, just go to Jing Jing dot com, uh, or no, go to Jing, search for Jing on um, or Jing project on um, YouTube. And so here's here's what I've got. I mean, obviously I can put some more here, but I want to, you know, for the sake of time, I don't want to do that. Um, and then I just go to save, and then I go to, I just save it as a Twitter background, and then I go to save, and then I go to my Twitter page, and I go, oh wait, that's, what was I saying? That was the, the, what I was looking at before was the picture, I'm sorry, the pic, it only, it only accepts a picture of 700 kilobytes for your um, your actual picture, you want to go to the design section of your of your um, of your settings, and then you want to go down here to change background image, and then you go to browse, <clears throat> and you go to where you saved that uh, that image. I saved it to my desktop, and there it is, the Twitter background, and then I just go to open. And then I go to save changes. And then it should, there you go. There's your Twitter, there's, there's the new Twitter background. You've got your picture there and everything. And then you can go to home. And you can see there's your, there's your information right there. So hopefully that was clear. I mean, and, and by the way, I would go, if you're, if you do want to, um, <clears throat> Jing project. So it's, it's a jingproject.com. That's where you, you go to download Jing, but it's a real easy tool to use. All you do is you just select this little, um, you, you go, it, it, Jing is kind of unique. I mean, it's got, if you have the, the program Jing, it keeps this little sun on the side of your, um, your desktop and then you just select here for capture and then you can capture your screen. So anyway, hopefully that, that makes sense and um, I hope if you have any questions just email me or uh, Skype me or something or, or comment on this blog if you, if you want to. Alright, thanks. Bye.